Larson's Home Furnishings, locally owned for over 63 years. Larson's always has the highest quality, a huge selection, and great prices store-wide. Also, a winner of the Chamber of Commerce Retailer of the Year Award in 2007. Don't forget about our low price guarantee. Why shop anywhere else? Daniel Sperry's journey is one of true destiny. One day he decided to start playing the cello again, and now it's how he makes a living. Mm -hmm. NBC 5's Joe Cameronlinghi joining us now. Joe, uh, Daniel actually plays daily in Lithia Park, right? And that's where I found him. But this is a man who's recorded in Nashville and has two CDs out. Uh, that he's working on as well. Not long after he began to play again, an old friend decided to donate $10,000 to get Sperry a new cello. Since then, fate has taken over. It starts out softly. And as it slowly builds, you would think the music is coming from the forest itself. finally discover this beautiful sound emanates from Daniel Sperry and his magnificent cello, you quickly forget everything else as your mind falls into rhythm. It's an amazing park. To be blessed to hear music like this is unbelievable. I'd say it all somehow or other works. You know, you have the creek in the background and, you know, it, uh, it does feel like, okay, well, that's a tree, the tree turned into a cello and music came from there, you know. If you're able to snap yourself out of the musical trance, you begin to ask the question. Why is someone as talented as Daniel playing in the middle of Lithia Park? It was kind of a happenstance. Um, I uh, was given this cello. I was here with my son and he wanted to hear the cello and I came into the park uh, with my cello and sat on the wall and started playing. And people started throwing money in my case. That really wasn't my plan. While making money in the park was a surprise, Daniel did leave his job with a computer web company with the intention of supporting himself with his music. But there were a lot of questions as to how he could make that happen. Anyone who has a deep longing to do something creative uh, is always faced with this choice, whether to, uh, you know, get a job and bring home some bacon or live a life that is risky. A risk that has worked out well, as Daniel is able to support himself and his son on money from CDs he's recorded, a steady stream of gigs, and of course, his daily concerts in Lithia Park. It's not that easy to be a musician, but I do see that people who give their heart to it find a way to make it work. Without Daniel's leap, he wouldn't have been able to spread so much joy. And he would also have a tougher time telling his own son that it's worth it to follow your dreams. They have this desire to do something that's not necessarily the mainstream, but they're really into it and it means a lot to them. They should just go for it. And you can find him in Lithia Park if you want to listen to the music. As you see, kids love it. And he also, at cellomansings.com, you can buy his CDs. Gorgeous. It's incredible. Yes, it wow. is. Thanks a lot, Joe.